Good morning. I'm coming to you again from Beirut with uh, sunrise over Mount Lebanon behind me. Today we're going to look at Joshua chapter 14. And my question to you is, are you all in? In Joshua chapter 14, Caleb says, Because I wholly follow the Lord, I want to get my inheritance first. Why would he say that? Because back at Kadesh Barnea, 40 years earlier, they sent in 12 spies. The Israelites wanted to find out if they could conquer this land. And Caleb came back with Joshua and said, we can do it. Let's do it right now. But the other 10 spies said, no way. And the people said, well, we're going to follow them. Majority rules. And consequently, they wandered around the wilderness for 40 years waiting to die. Well, two of them didn't die. Joshua and Caleb, people who were over 40 at that time, God allowed them to live so they could go in and take this land. And so Caleb says, guess what? I want my inheritance first. And I want it first because I fully followed the Lord. Now the truth is, he was not being braggadocious about this. Now, number one, it was true. But number two, he was just quoting what Moses said. You fully followed the Lord. God loves this kind of boldness. God wants you to reach out and grab his promises. He loves it when we say, God, I'm asking. I want to receive. I'm seeking. I want to find. I'm knocking. I want the door to be open. Two times in this passage he says, fully followed or wholly followed. You know what? You're not successful in anything in life unless you put your whole mind and heart into it. You'll never be a triathlete unless you put everything into it. You'll never be successful in business unless you put everything into it. Or swimming, or any kind of Olympic sport, or any professional sport. you got to be all in. My, I would submit to you that we need to be all in for Jesus Christ. If we're going to be successful in our Christian lives, we got to be all in for Him. At the end of this chapter, Caleb says, Give me this mountain. He is asking for the mountain that the Anakim live on. The giants. He says, I'm 85 years old, and I want this fight. I want the hardest fight. Can you imagine if we had this heart for Jesus? What would this world be like? What would Fresno be like? If we had this heart saying, Give me the toughest mountain. That's what I want to climb for you, God. I know I can get it because you're going to give it to me. What mountain do you need to claim for God? What mountain are you climbing that maybe you've kind of given up on a little bit, but you need to be all in with Jesus on? That's the mountain I want to challenge you to claim today.